The console is not connected to the internet. Please connect to the internet to proceed with the download. You know, a couple days ago, I, uh, or yesterday, I'm freaking losing track of time. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, actually. I, uh, I was talking with Carvia a little bit, and he was like, oh, you want to play some Smash? And I was like, you know what? After a, after a stressful day, I would love to play some Smash. And then I realized I'm keeping my Switch away from the internet to uh, stay away from this stupid, stupid day one patch. Oh, man. Well, so that didn't happen because I don't know how long we're going to stay away from this day one patch for the memes and to see exactly what state this game is shipped in. But here we here we are. And I saw that in Discord earlier, Mortis, that you picked up this game today. Because, uh, is this, is this the real Mortis? Is this, uh, did something happen to you? Give us a sign. Give us a, give us a signal of some sort. What are you thinking of it so far? I've been thinking about this game lately, and, uh, about, like, the mixed reception people seem to have on it. And I feel like the conclusion that I've come to for this game in, like, my current state of mind is, uh, I genuinely believe that if you go into this game thinking that you're going to really like it, you're going to really like it. If you go into the game thinking that you're not going to like it or you're not really sure, then you're not going to like it. I think that's the kind of game this is. After after a great many hours of dwelling on it, that is the current conclusion that I've come to for like what kind of game this is. Also, I've been meaning to play this game during the daytime more, but like I don't really have much of a chance during the day. <laughs> during the night is what's best. Maybe the next stream will be during the... Uh, during the day, but we're doing another nighttime stream because it's just my vibe. I guess <laughs> expect a lot of this series to be at uh, at nighttime and whatnot because I am completely out of my mind and schedule is crazy and whatnot. And uh, it's actually been a few days since playing this. Like I, uh, I was bum rushing it when it first came out, and it's still just like it's had. It's not even been out for a week yet at the time of streaming this. So like I am still kind of you know bum rushing it. This is the fourth session, so I guess you could call it a day four. But, you know, we're, uh, we're not bum rushing it as much as before, mostly because life is kind of, life is kind of crazy, and this week is kind of crazy, and it's the la <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Keeps killing me already. Holy crap. But glad to hear that the stream, the stream earlier today went well, Lollipop, even it was just testing and whatnot. Yeah, Mortis has gone over to the dark side. Hmm? Hmm? How are you doing today, though, Shuck? Got morbidly curious, and for some reason you really like that. Feels like an old Nintendo DS game. I hate so much about this game, but you really enjoy it. Because it's a good game at its core, however, it's very dated. Also, Pokemon duping is a thing. Yeah, I saw that in Discord earlier. A, a lot of the time, I'll, like, see probably, like, 90% of the stuff that happens in the Discord server, but I'll only, like, actually be on top of, like, responding to things in the server, like, maybe 10% of the time. Um, that's, uh, that's that. I'm like, uh... I'm like a lurker in my own server a lot of the time, is what happens. It does make me feel especially bad, though, if somebody actually pings me in the server. I'm like, I'll get to that later, and then I forget about it. And then it's like, oh, oh, I'm, a. Uh... that happened. Um, doing pretty good, just stopping by to say hi before you hit bed. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I hope that the day has gone well and whatnot. I've, uh, I've been looking a little bit into, like, the various glitches this game has, and I've, I found out some interesting stuff, and, uh, one of them, maybe I'll actually go get a thing right now. I found out that apparently, like, even after the second gym, but you can do it, like, after the second gym or after the third gym. You have to go past, like, Veilstone anyway. There's apparently, like, a glitch that you can use to skip to Sunny Shore, but to do it, you apparently need to hatch an egg. And I found out the easiest way to get an egg is, like, a Hapini that you can get from Heart Home City for free. So I might just do that, and it apparently hatches in, like, 10,000 steps. Apparently, if you can get the egg to hatch on like the same tile or roughly the same tile as a dudo that's like no you can't go to sunny shore yet then uh then it'll just freaking let you pass essentially is uh <laughs> is what i've heard apparently and i kind of want to try it honestly it said that it was like a hiker man it's not you is it no oh, pokemon egg it is you um they found this in the pokemon nursery at salacio town want to take it yeah, the good old sequence break. I, I'm kind of curious to try it, like, both to showcase how busted this game is, and just because it's, like, fun and sets this apart from, like, uh, like, the freaking Pokemon Platinum playthrough in a way. Because I feel like one of the reasons that, uh, they can't be sent to my boxes or anything. I feel like one of the biggest reasons that I've gotten, like, tired of this kind of a bit faster than I thought I'd, it'd be is just because of how faithful it is to the original and the fact that we did Pokemon Platinum earlier this year already. So... 
I feel like I'm already playing the same game that I was already playing, like, as of a couple months ago, that we just wrapped up the playthrough of a couple months ago. And I feel like that's another reason of, like, reassurance why I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, do Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Because then it'd feel like I'm doing the same game three times when it already feels like I'm doing the same game two times. What the heck was that transition, by the way? I'm sorry, Beefer, but... <laughs> You'll always be in the party in Spear. I'm gonna turn off the, uh... Whoops. Whoops. Gosh, diggity darn it. Also, I never set these transitions to- f <laughs> these, these objects to fade out, so they just vanished. Apologies for, like, professional streamer mode 101, essentially. Um, Sullivan so patched the Rourke skill and you find this hilarious? It's so weird. Why does the bar, like, even forgetting the scale for a hot second, why does the bar, like, not even have verses and, like, gym leader name? Why is it just an empty, lifeless bar with, like, a generic PNG on it? In Pokemon Platinum, like, even looking at Rourke's one, it was, like, epic ray to battle, the super anime, like, glasses thing. Like, he's about to, he's about to send you to the Shadow Realm or something like that. And it says, versus Rourke. Now, it's just a freaking bar without any text. And, like, a derpy, like, yeah, kind of PNG is <laughs> what it, what it kind of is. Um, so anyway, when it comes to the, uh, the Poketch here, hold on a hot second. Um... So the step counter, I've heard that, I looked up online and apparently Hapini hatches in 10,000 steps. So we try to hit like 10,000 when we reach that tile down the line, I guess, or something like that. I'll try to like limit-ish my steps before then, I suppose. We're going in with the uh, strats from the, from the get-go. One of the videos that I saw hatched it in like 9,700 in the clip that I saw, but that just means that there must have been like 230 something I got accounted for when they reset it, I guess, because Google told me that a peony hatches it. I'll just reset it again in a second. In 10,000. So maybe we'll try to like limit our steps here. So we're going in with like the freaking big plays like ahead of time, essentially, is, uh, is what we're doing here. We are, uh, we're getting this set up here. So I don't know how many parts from now it's gonna be, but we're gonna try to hit 10,000, like, you know, when, uh, when we're there, I guess, and see if I can pull up the thing, because that sounds hilarious. Apparently, you do have to fight, like, one of the high-level sailors there. I looked up to make sure I know what sailor that is, but, uh, your Pokemon still walk with you while you're biking? A Grotto is still out there. I hate that they used the Diamond Pearl Poketch instead of the better Platinum one. They literally could have added the button they added in Platinum. What was the button that was added in Platinum? I, it's been, like, I... The Pokemon Platinum playthrough is still fresh in my mind, except it's not. <laughs> and it, and what was that? Why is there like a line along the left side of this uh, crater where it's like the, uh, I need to, <laughs> I need to manage my steps better is what I gotta do. Cause we gotta hit like 10,000 when we get over there. So like, you know, I can't be, can't be using too many steps. Go back one app in the Poketch. Oh, so instead of just like cycling forward, you can cycle back and forth. I was really hoping they'd fix this in the, uh, before release, after I saw it in the trailer. Also, where's Grottle? What the hell? Where'd my Grottle go? It still says that Malos is walking with me, return to ball. Except you're clearly not. You're clearly not, though. What the hell? I don't even know what's happening. Also, why is the rainy area which is usually like some of the most beautiful looking areas in games. Just like the worst looking thing I've seen in this game yet. Well, there's a, there's a, I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot is a victory from you. Where'd Malos go? Why well, was there like a delay before the battle started? Also, maybe I should turn up the uh, game sound a little bit. I was adjusting. Oh yeah, I was adjusting audio levels for like Paper Mario recently. So we can turn this up to like here, I believe. Seems like a, Seems like a good place. Oh, Staravia's up front. Oh. It's raining. Wow, I had no idea. People die when they are killed. Oh my goodness, what is going on with that guy's eyes? There's like... The the bits under his eyes. Um, you're playing the patch version. Uh, why does this part of the overall look like someone took a bunch of random assets and copy-pasted them in with no shaders? I don't know, probably because that's probably what happened. Um, they both have bite. I'll give the experience to Soleil, I guess, because Soleil's lower level, I suppose. Like, at least the, uh, at least the battle environments look good. I do like the battle environments of, of this game. It's, like, one of its, one of its saving graces, in my opinion. The battle environments, at least, but, oh my goodness, the overworld in this bit is, uh, I am confusion! Um, also, 
You know how we've been listening to the, uh, you know, placeholder music? Since we're playing without the day one patch? Well, I was curious how good the, uh, actual game OST was. So earlier today when I was working on some university work, I actually wound up looking up the remastered OST in this game, and I started listening to a couple tracks, and I was like, man, this sounds kind of shitty. But then I, like, listened closer, and I was like, wait a second. This is just MIDI with, like, placeholder instruments, just like the placeholder. Am I listening to the placeholder? Is this not even the remastered? So I went and I checked some other playlists, and it was another situation where I literally couldn't tell. It was, like, on a fine line where I literally couldn't tell if it was remastered music or if it was just the original MIDI with, like, a, a new instrument or two or something like that. Like, it was literally this fine line. I, for the life of me, could not tell the difference. So when I was browsing YouTube earlier today, I have no idea if the videos I was finding were like the remaster music or the uh, or the placeholder stuff. I felt like I was in one of those memes where uh, you don't become steel type until you evolve, right? Um, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I felt like I was in, gosh darn it. Um, I felt like I was in one of those memes where it's like, you know, you think that something is a normal object, but it turns out it's cake. And, uh, and like somebody takes a clip of themselves looking at one of those videos where it turns out this thing is cake, it turns out this thing is cake, and they start looking around them not knowing like what's real and what's cake anymore, and they start reaching out to stuff and it turns out it's all cake. I felt like I was in one of those memes where instead of looking around myself and not knowing what's real and what's cake, instead I was just looking around not knowing what's the remastered OST of this game and what's what's the placeholder like i straight up had no idea oh there's actual lines under his eyes that i guess were just like bugging out from the distance before or something like that like that's what i felt like earlier today when i was trying to uh try to browse out that's a weird place for a uh an item isn't it oh my goodness this is so dang fugly does the freaking mallows just block him <laughs> Hi. Um, so that would stop at times of only human after all. Uh, but yeah, Spear Pillar Battle Environment looks absolutely stars. You know, Excelia is flowing the remastered music. Have you been able to tell the difference easily? But I've only heard like one or two tracks of the remastered OST at all is the thing. So like, I don't, <laughs> I can't easily tell the, uh, tell the difference. Like the only remastered OST that I've listened to were those uh, legendary themes that you sent me when we were going through that unknown cave. And, uh, what was it? It was the, uh, rival battle theme and, like, the regular wild Pokemon battle theme when we looked those up in, like, the early, early-ish parts. Uh, we already have Lin at the front, so I can talk to you. Um, yep, it's payback. Oh, you're giving me payback. <laughs> can, can you not come upstairs? Are you kidding me? There's no way. Do you follow Pokemon not know what stairs are? Oh my good gracious, follow- wait. Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's just weird. What? <laughs> What am I looking at? Um, so yeah, I felt like I was in one of those memes where I literally couldn't tell what was real and what wasn't anymore. Like, I was just in a state of confusion. Like, I'll find the, uh, I'll find the remaster music some other time, but today, today was not the day for that, I guess, or something. Black Belt Derek. I don't think I've streamed this game since, uh, since a couple days ago when I went to, uh, a Taekwondo class mind thinking about black belts. I went this past Sunday to a, it's Tuesday right now for context that anybody watch on YouTube after the fact so two days ago um, I went to this one Sunday Taekwondo class that was all about You know black belts that want to uh, get back into training and are a bit out of shape like after COVID but wanna want to get back into the swing of things and whatnot and uh, I at first I thought that the uh, person that was going to be like hosting hosting this was a uh, was someone else, one of my fellow students who I had gone there for a long time since he was the one that seemed to be organizing this kind of thing at first and uh, was sending out these emails and had been doing it for like the past few weeks. But this last week was the uh, first week that I actually went and turns out the uh, person that was actually teaching was the uh, the master of the dojang. And when, you, when it's the master of the dojang teaching, you know you're in for a freaking great workout. But I still kind of feel like jello and it's two days later after this uh this two hours of what we call kichan which is uh so we weren't doing like super hard work in terms of like you know fast-paced excruciating work yourself to a crazy sweat kind of thing 
No, we were doing like Kichan is basically like holding stances in different different positions, like holding your arms out kind of like that, or like as one of the main stances, for example, and just holding it, and just holding it, and just holding it until like the end of time, and just having the willpower to not drop after like three thousand years of holding it. So my joints feel kind of non-existent. My shoulders hurt a lot still, um, but honestly, it was a great it was a great time, and <laughs> I feel like really helped me in a way. Um, there's a texture glitch where the Pokemon following you will turn pink and the game will crash soon after. I want to see this now. Like, I'm, like not in terms of, you know, seeing it happen to others. I want it to happen here is what I now want to, uh, is what I now want to see. So yeah, I feel kind of, I feel kind of like jello, I guess, is uh, the way things have, things have been for a little bit. Man, this place is so freaking ugly. Like, I genuinely think this is the worst route that we've seen thus far in this game. Like, holy crap. This is, uh... I... I don't know what to say to this anymore. I don't... <laughs> I just straight up have no idea. It's raining! Whoa! Isn't that crazy? Um, what other stuff was I gonna say? Oh, to... Catch you up on like- Do I want to save like all my catch-up stuff for like this part? Nah, I'll save the last bit of what I want to save for like uh, for a little bit from now. So I'm not just like dumping all the stuff going on lately, like all at once. I'll freaking space it out. You gotta, you gotta find balance. Must find the balance in the force or whatever the hell. Um, I do like my microphone being on the, uh, on the camera so I can move it a little bit closer, I guess. Like the, I don't even know. I don't even know. Move it like that. I've, uh, I've been listening back to some of the uh, previous VODs and I hear myself become a bit more distant when I'm talking like this, which I guess is what the microphone is intended to do, but it's a... Uh, I don't know. Audio leveling is hard and stuff. Take that, silly metatoot. Take that. Take this. Take it. Take it this instant. Um, I've been watching back like a couple of the, uh, a couple of the episodes that have been published thus far. <laughs> One of which, part five of this series, I had to like... The Twitch highlighter did not agree with me the first time it was highlighted, I guess. So, uh, I had to wind up deleting it, re-highlighting it, and re-uploading it. And YouTube told me the HD version was, like, done processing, so I published the new version that I uploaded. But then turned out the HD version wasn't done processing, and YouTube pranked me, so I had to private it again. And then I had to wait a little while for it to actually finish processing, and then I published it again. So, and so that was a thing that happened recently with a uh, part five of the series. That wasn't uh, that wasn't fun. <laughs> that was not fun there. Well, I love how these trees are just here to be like, oh, do you still have a Pokemon with cut with you? Like, do you still have that HM carried around with you to get this item? And that's the reward. But it's still designed in the exact same way after in this game where you always have the thing Robob with you. It's so weird how the Pokemon freeze when uh, <laughs> when you're uh. You don't want to battle when you're when there's dialogue. I can't words. I feel like now I'm in that meme with that kid. That's like when you when you if you dream if that, that's me right now. Um, jogging is good for you, but you have to make sure you're not overdoing it. It's probably nice jogging in the rain. Oh my goodness, this is so dang ugly. <laughs> this is not okay. Got a full heal. Um, just realize why everything looks awful in the rain because there's no shadows and that just takes away like a massive amount of depth that the game would have otherwise had. And it really brings to light how basic looking this game actually is. This is, this, I'm taking the Veilstone gym challenge, but first, and the reflections are gone. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll battle anyone, that's how I'll get better. The reflections have to be like one of the best graphical parts of this game. I really don't like the graphics of this game, but the, uh, but the battle environments are really good. I really like them. And the reflections are really good. So, sometimes I feel like the reflections are too good in a way. Like, oh my goodness, does everyone just like wax their floors for 3,000 years? But <laughs> it's not like it's not like it's going to be like an experience ruining thing. It's just the kind of thing where it's like, huh, I've, I've never seen wood that reflective before, you know? Um, Lynn is waiting your directions to... I never get that dialogue with Malos. Does Lynn like me way more? Also, Mika plays Rainy with a party of six. Why are you saying sorry? What? <laughs> crash against... Oh, I see. Is with a Bernie emote. Crash. Sorry, Bernie. Crash. I see it now. I get it. I appreciate the raid there, Mika Blaze. How did you stream the stream ago? What were you just streaming, if you don't mind me asking? What was on the stream agenda for today? I've been seeing that lately. You've been streaming some Pokemon. I don't know if that was on the... Uh, if that was what was today. Or if it was something else. Um, streamed for 
<laughs> 11 hours. Try doing 25 like I did a couple weeks ago. <laughs> As, then we'll talk. Then we'll talk, okay? You must go, you must uh, train on a mountain for three years without any food or water. And then you are ready for a 25 hour stream. That's the, uh, that was the thing for Bob. Um, but yeah, could focus a laser without shining the floor as it just seems like it. Post game is such a leap forward, such a treat. I've heard that it's like more challenging. What do you think about this game in general so far? Cause it, um, <laughs> yeah, I've heard that apparently it's like a big increase in, uh, in difficulty there apparently. Gosh dang darn it, I don't really, well, ugh. whatever. My Razor Leaf will just be neutral effective against a gear noose, I suppose, or something. Um, let's go ahead and do boopity bop. Um, ended with an attempt with Poker Radar Shiny Hunting. There was a time in my Sword and Shield playthrough where I tried like a very brief smidge of Shiny Hunting. Never really went anywhere. I don't think I'll, I'd be trying it with this game. Like I, I'll probably pass on that to go so well until it did. What did you get? Look at those trainers just despawning and spawning back in over there. What a perfect game with no flaws whatsoever. Boopity bap. Must smack a roo. Zagarados. Also, I was hoping Razor Leaf would do more than it did, honestly. Darn you. How dare? Thank goodness you're wasting your turn with the Leer. At least and whatnot. 151 for shiny Ralts. That's that's not bad at all in terms of encounters. I don't know how long it takes for like poker radar chaining or whatever it is in a in this game, but on a on surface level to my ears it sounds like it'd be a put a decent amount of time there. It seems like Boobity Bop wants to learn air cutter. Oh, that would have been useful before. Oh, um yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can get off absorb. I was going to take off supersonic, but I mean uh Okay, mad because your chains were breaking at 5 to 10. I think there was a brief time I did like the poker radar chaining thing in Oraz like 3,000 years ago, but that was a very, very long time ago. <laughs> what is going on with his lips? Did he, uh, did he have a coral blue number, uh, except it's more like coral pink number something? Oh my goodness, this is the, the graphics of the rain is so dang ugly. Um,. <laughs> But yeah, got your shiny at the second chain, so it all worked out. It all worked out wonderfully in the end. Malice just doesn't know how to like move towards me when we're uh, when we're uh, doing things here. Also, I think I might have found out recently that things don't actually automatically start as watered after all. Maybe. Yeah, it's at least in platinum. I don't know how it was in diamond and pearl. Apparently, the first time you planted them, they started out automatically watered, but that's not the case. And now this is what something looks like when it's watered. So I've been planting stuff without watering it this whole time, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, that, that's what it feels like there. The the rain graphics there kind of feel like if you're uh. Okay, at first I was like, we're not over halfway there, are we? No, we're working towards 10,000, not 1,000. I had like a mini heart attack for a second, not knowing what numbers were. Um, but yeah, back to your question, maybe the Pokemon shill on you, but you really enjoy Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Is it just because it's like Diamond and Pearl? Because I played Platinum earlier this year for the sake of comparing to this when it came out, and I've just been feeling like bored out of my mind because I just feel like I'm playing the same game that I just wrapped up like a couple months ago, essentially. I feel like I'm going through the same thing again. <laughs> like that you know um but yeah so there's uh there's that we still we still have plenty of time on the step counter it seems like if we want to do the sequence break um yeah it's a good ds game but i can uh it's definitely lacking in a lot of regards that could have been improved with this but weren't 